Welcome to Mechanical Systems Design. This is the first of a series of videos that we'll ask you to watch in this class. And we'll use them for a bunch of different purposes. One is to recap topic readings, although we won't go into detail and you definitely need to read those still. Another is to do exercises together. And we'll set up a problem and ask you to hit pause. Then you'll work through the problem, pencil and paper, and then hit play and we'll walk through some example answers and, and what they mean. It's super important to do these exercises as we'll talk more about later. And we'll use them to do things like debrief projects and so on. And now you might notice as you go through these videos uh, that they might be a little spliced together in places. It can be a little hard to get these videos right in one take. And we'd like to be able to update the videos as we move along. So we've opted for clarity at the cost of a little choppiness in some places. In this first one, I'm just gonna introduce myself and our teaching team and your classmates. <clears throat> so first me, um, I'm, I'm Steve Collins. I'm an associate professor of mechanical engineering here at Stanford. And I've been here for a little over three years. Before that, I was a professor at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh. Uh, and I've studied at uh, Cornell, the University of Michigan and Teo Delft in the Netherlands. And the most important thing to know about me in the context of this course is that I, uh, I love mechanical design. It is a passion of mine, a lifelong passion, and I love designing myself. I love teaching people design. And it's one of the main ways that I feel like I can make the world a better place. Um, teaching people how to combine their technical and creative abilities to, to make really cool, unique things. And also in, uh, the research that we do that can help people improve their lives. <clears throat> so I'm really excited to share that passion with you this quarter. So I, I first got interested in mechanical design as uh, uh, an, an undergraduate at Cornell, but really diving in deep uh, when I designed these walking robots. These are uh, robots that utilize passive dynamics to be very energy efficient. And this one on the left still holds uh, the record for the least energy used per unit mass per unit distance traveled for a, a bipedal robot. As a graduate student, I shifted more towards exoskeletons and prosthetic limbs to help improve people's mobility. And here you can see uh, some of the same ideas being applied. We've got uh, ankle exoskeletons that use no energy themselves and yet reduce the energy consumption of human walking. And of course, to make these things work, we need really robust systems that are very lightweight, uh, so we don't impede the person too much when they put it on before it starts to, to give them a benefit. Uh, more recently, my laboratory is focused on tools for designing exoskeletons and prosthetic limbs. We call these things emulators. So this uh, is a typical system. There's this big motor and controller that's tethered to lightweight instrumented uh, components that are worn on the body. And that way you can give uh, the user lots of the experience of interacting with lots of different candidate designs without having to build them in hardware, which is uh, very cumbersome. Um, here's a, a, one of our recent exoskeleton designs. It's a hip, knee, ankle exoskeleton that we're using to study how to optimally assist walking and running at a variety of speeds, uh, load, carriage conditions, and grades. Um, here's another example of a, a recent emulator project. We have ankle exoskeletons intended to improve the energy economy and speed of running. And on every step, the exoskeleton helps the person push off with their foot. And you can see that uh, these big motors here are uh, doing the work. Um, we've, we also study prosthetic limbs for people with amputation. Uh, this one is intended to try to help people maintain side to side balance, uh, especially when they walk on uneven terrain. And of course, if we're really gonna study balance, we need to uh, challenge people's balance. So here's a, a system we call Bumpum. It's an open source perturbation platform for laboratory tests, and maybe someday clinical tests of balance in people with uh, impairments. So we, there's a bunch of uh, great projects like this in our laboratory. I'm privileged to work with a fantastic group of people. This is uh, from summer of 2019, but our group still looks a lot like this. Um, amazing PhD students and postdocs who all have these projects that stand to improve people's lives by designing better technology, especially for people with impairments. And um, all these projects are heavy on biomechanics and, and neuroscience and control, but also mechanical systems design at the 
at their core. So this is uh, an experience that I draw from a lot in teaching this class. I want you to be able to do things like the things we do in our laboratory. If you're interested in this kind of stuff, you can learn more at our website. We've got a bunch of media, videos, uh, papers there. And uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at Stephen H. Collins. We talk about our research and lots of other things in these areas. Now, I, I think it's, <clears throat> it's important to remember that uh, we're all people too. So I, I'm super passionate about teaching and my research, but I also am passionate about uh, my, my family. I spend a lot of time with these two guys here, Ty and Max, uh, now four and seven. And we go on adventures to the beach and the woods. They love to uh, get out in the snow when they can or just dig in the mud. They are uh, scholars. You can see them going deep in the literature already. And they're even starting some engineering projects. Uh, this is uh, civil, but you know, close enough. And I'm also very lucky in all of this to, to have a, a great uh, partner in my wife, Lisa. Um, so uh, now having these kids is wonderful, but uh, if you see me, <clears throat> if I seem a little tired sometimes, if uh, like maybe today, <laughs> it may be because I was uh, kept up all night by the kiddos. Um, and I also, I'm. Uh, you know, outside of, of, of those things, uh, if I'm not teaching, doing research, or um, doing family time, I'm probably out running, uh, riding my bike, uh, or surfing, and sometimes skiing. So that's a little bit about me. And next, we're excited for you to get to know the teaching team. And we're going to do this at our first coaching session. We have a truly outstanding group of CAs this quarter with a diverse set of deep technical backgrounds in mechanical design. And you're gonna get the chance to know at least one of our team really well as they lead your coaching group for the quarter. But you should feel free to reach out to any of us at any time, we're here to help. And that's a little bit about us. Um, so now let's hear a little bit about your classmates. The teaching team and I are really looking forward to getting to know all of you better. And we're watching the survey results as they come in but we tend to find similar trends in ME 104 students quarter over quarter. So here are data from a prior quarter to help you get a sense of who will be taking this class with you. Most of us this quarter are mechanical engineers. Uh, we also have about a third of the class that's in product design and a smattering of other majors. That's excellent. About <clears throat> half of us are in our third year juniors. Great, taking the course in sequence. Uh, we have about a third that are seniors and 15% that are super seniors or maybe co-terms. So we have a, a diverse set of uh, experience with college. And uh, this quarter, we have three quarters of the class already has a personal 3D printer, which is excellent. You're gonna be able to hit the ground running. If you're in that one quarter that doesn't yet, um, make sure to get started building your printer and tuning it right away uh, and work through that getting started document. The document is fantastic. It's battle tested by several generations of students at this point, and it can help you walk through every single step that you need to make successful prints. And if you put the time in now to do that, it's gonna save you a lot more time later with failed prints uh, and, and trouble with say, last minute issues before deadlines and projects. If you do run into trouble, know that our teaching team has a lot of experience with this, your classmates do too and might be able to give you tips. And there's a link to other resources, including a Piazza site, Slack site, and daily video office hours held by PRLCAs. And you can get to all of that uh, from the P3D resources that's linked from Canvas. Looks like we've got a range of experiences in terms of past mechanical systems design. Some of us have designed tens or hundreds of robots, uh, while some of us have designed none. Uh, most of us have designed a component or two, and most of us have done some coding in MATLAB or Python. And what we'll do is work to create diverse coaching groups so that you all can uh, learn from each other and teach each other in these, in these areas. Looking at the prerequisite courses, we'll see that um, most of us have taken 102 and 103 fairly recently and received pretty good grades uh, for strength of materials, statics, and physics, that there's a bigger distribution and most of us have taken them a little bit 
longer in the past. And this is very common. And what we find is that students uh, don't have as much strength in free body diagramming or stress analysis uh, as they might think based on their prereqs. And so we'll spend the first couple of weeks, uh, first really uh, four weeks, uh, pulling up that knowledge from the depths and strengthening it as we apply it in this new domain of design where the problems get much trickier. So even if you feel like you have a good understanding there, please go deep in this first few weeks and it will be a reward to you later. So that's it. Welcome to the class. We're really glad to have you here and I'm excited for an awesome quarter of designing together.